guys, welcome to my channel. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. Tips for a healthy diet and meal planning. So make sure to watch the full video. Are you attempting to reduce your food expenses but don't want to sacrifice nutrition? If so, organize your meals for the following few days or next week. It takes a little while, but it will save you money and improve nutrition. The newest healthy eating fat or popular ingredient can quickly overwhelm you. But consistently consuming wholesome foods and beverages is what constitutes good nutrition. It is feasible to enjoy foods and beverages that are reflective of your preferences, cultural traditions, and financial constraints when you follow healthy eating habits. In a healthy diet, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, dairy products, and protein are prioritized. Lactose-free milk, low-fat or fat-free milk, and fortified soy beverages are all recommended dairy options. Animal milk and soy beverages have different nutritional qualities from other plant-based beverages. Lean fish, poultry, pork, eggs, legumes, beans, peas, and lentils, soy products, nuts, and seeds are all good sources of protein. According to the Dietary Guidelines for Americans 2020-2025 PDF 30.6 MB, the majority of people in the United States need to change their eating habits to boost their consumption of dietary fiber, calcium, vitamin D, and potassium. At the same time, we need to eat less sodium, saturated fat, and added sugar. Here are a few methods for beginning. 1. Boost Fiber Fiber keeps our digestive systems healthy and makes us feel fuller for longer. Additionally, fiber lowers cholesterol and helps to regulate blood sugar. Good sources of fiber include fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Try this to boost fiber. To make quick snacks, slice up raw vegetables. To keep celery and carrots crisper for longer, store them in water in the refrigerator. Oatmeal, bulgur, or teff-based foods are good choices to start the day with. Add berries, pumpkin seeds, or almonds to your cereal for even additional fiber. To increase the salad's fiber, texture, and flavor, add half a cup of beans or lentils. Enjoy whole fruit with your meal or as a dessert, such as a pear, apple, melon slice, or passion fruit. To boost your vitamin D and calcium intake, in order to ensure ideal bone health, calcium and vitamin D collaborate. Our bodies can produce vitamin D from sunlight, but some people may have trouble doing so, and too much sun exposure raises the risk of skin cancer. Several foods and drinks have been fortified with vitamin D. Despite the fact that very few foods naturally contain this important nutrient, check out the calcium and vitamin D foods. Try this to increase calcium and vitamin D intake. With each meal, sip a dairy beverage that has been fortified. Include a packet of salmon or a can of sardines once a week when you pack your lunch. Calcium levels are higher in salmon and sardines with bones than in those without. Include taro root, bok choy, mushrooms, spinach, collard greens, and other vegetables in your dishes. Search for foods that have an added calcium and vitamin D. These additional nutrients might be included in soy drinks, soy yogurt, orange juice, and some whole grain cereals. Make sure they don't have any added sugars, though. 3. Boost the Potassium Potassium supports healthy kidney, heart, muscle, and nerve function. Lack of potassium can raise blood pressure, reduce the amount of calcium in bones, and increase the chance of kidney stones. There may be too much potassium in the blood in those with chronic kidney disease and those taking specific drugs. But the majority of Americans need to increase their potassium intake through their diets. Observe potassium-rich foods. Try this to increase the potassium. Try out some fresh recipes with lima beans, Swiss chard, or beet greens. By adding one cup of 100% prune juice or 100% pomegranate juice to your drinks, you can add some variety. Grab a banana to nibble on. Whenever possible, pair your meals with 100% orange juice or a suggested dairy product. 4. Limit added sugars. Obesity, type 2 diabetes, weight gain, and heart disease can all be caused by eating too much added sugar. Natural sugars are present in some foods, including fruit and milk. When foods and beverages are processed or prepared, sugars and syrups are added as additional sweeteners. Cane juice, corn syrup, dextrose, and fructose are just a few of the various names for added sugars. Added sugars also include honey, maple syrup, and table sugar. A prominent source of additional sugars or sugary drinks. Try drinking water instead of sugary beverages to reduce your intake of added sugars. For additional flavor, mix in berries or thin slices of lime, lemon, or cucumber. 5. Yogurt or cereal can be made sweeter by adding fruit. Avoid stocking up on sugary snacks and beverages. 
as a substitute, sip water, and keep sliced fruits and vegetables on hand. Skip the whipped cream and flavored syrups at coffee shops. Request low-fat or fat-free milk or a fortified soy beverage that isn't sweetened. Black coffee is another simple option. Consider foods with no or little added sugar by reading the nutrition labels. 6. Swap out saturated fats Your heart can be protected by swapping unhealthy saturated fat for more heart-healthy unsaturated fats. Butter, cream cheese, whole milk, full-fat cheese, and fatty meats like beef ribs and sausage are typical sources of saturated fat. We require dietary fat to provide us with energy, support the growth of healthy cells, and aid in the absorption of some vitamins and minerals. However, unsaturated fats are healthier for us than saturated ones. Typical sources of saturated and unsaturated fat. Try this to replace saturated fats with unsaturated fats. Low-fat yogurt and an avocado can be used in place of whole milk in smoothies. Instead of using cheese on salads, top them with almonds or seeds. As a source of protein, substitute beans or seafood for meat. In place of butter or margarine, you can substitute canola, corn, olive, peanut, safflower, soybean, or sunflower oil for cooking. Use low-fat or fat-free milk and cheese in place of full-fat varieties. 7. Reducing sodium intake Your risk of high blood pressure, heart attack, and stroke can increase if you consume too much sodium. American consumers get more than 70% of their sodium from packaged and prepared foods. Despite the fact that sodium comes in different forms, 90% of the sodium we eat comes from salt. The best sources of sodium. 8. To reduce sodium intake, try this. Use a squeeze of lemon juice, a sprinkle of salt-free spice blends or fresh herbs to flavor your food in place of salt. Eat manufactured and prefabricated foods with high salt content less frequently. There is a lot of sodium in many everyday items, such as breads, pizza, and deli meats. When shopping, look for low-sodium products by reading the Nutrition Facts label. To prepare at home without salt, buy raw foods like fresh or frozen veggies. 9. Intend to use a variety of colors. Having food on your plate that is a range of colors is a good habit. Dark, leafy greens, oranges, tomatoes, and even fresh herbs are abundant in vitamins, fiber, and minerals. Add fresh herbs to whole wheat spaghetti or a salad. Fresh tomatoes, fresh herbs, and spices can be used to make a red sauce, or canned tomatoes with minimal sodium or no salt added. To give stews and omelets a boost of color and nutrients, add diced vegetables, such as peppers, broccoli, or onions. Add your preferred fruit to low-fat, unsweetened yogurt. How can a dietitian assist? You can receive individualized guidance from a dietitian on how to cut costs on food without sacrificing nutrition. They'll make sure you're getting all the nutrients you need for good health, and they'll give you cooking and grocery shopping advice so you can get the most out of your food budget. Did you know that many employer-sponsored health benefit plans provide coverage for dietitians? Get in touch with a nutritionist now. In conclusion, one of the best methods to cut costs on food while ensuring that you eat well-balanced, nutritious meals is via meal planning. So, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Use the comments section below to tell us your thoughts about the video. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of all the latest videos. Health Circle, your one-stop shop for all your health and wellness needs. Discover our wide range of products from supplements to fitness gear all carefully curated to help you achieve your best self. Shop now and join the Health Circle community today.